Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, uh, September 2nd. You and yours. Um, this is Travis Dampier of Travis Dampier Ministries, a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, here to you know go ahead and go for the verse of the day. But before we do that, just like I said, uh, remember there is a lot of prophetic word um, stating that September um, is the month you know where God's judgment um, begins. Um, it's going to hit hard on America um, first. He's really really pissed off. You know what I mean at America. Um, and it's going to hit here first, even though you already see it's hitting all around the world. I mean, it won't just be here. It'll be the whole world. But, um, you know, he, he wants to use America as, as an example um, of what used to be a golden cup in his hand um, has now um, turned into a very, very uh, uh, disrespectful um, and evil nation. Uh, and he's sick of it. And um, he, he's going to. Um, show his mighty hand and show that he is God, the one true sovereign God. That's it. There is no other. Um, always know that. Um, so be prepared. Brace yourselves. Um, make sure you you stock up on food and stuff. Um, these 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 judgments that are going to come, you know, by his hand will get people to go and take up all the food and stuff again. Uh, as it was uh, before when COVID first started. I don't know literally what's going to happen exactly. He has uh, spoken a lot about shaking. He said, I'm going to shake, you know what I mean, this this place. Um, so there could be a lot of that. He's talked about, you know, fires and all kinds of stuff. Um, I have shared that on my Facebook page. Remember, go to TrevisDampierMinistries.com and, and make sure that you're following all my social media, especially the Facebook page, because that's where I push all of the Watchmen data, uh, what's happening around the world and the uh, prophetic messages there. Um, Instagram, I mean, it's very difficult. I mean, all you do is you can push the videos and I can try to get pictures, but it, it, it just takes way too much time. So if you get go to the Facebook page that has all of it, Twitter has a bunch of it. Um, but I think the Facebook page is the easiest one to see. Um, so you can go to my website and get access to all of my social media pages. Just um, click on the links there. But let's get into the verse of the day so I can kick you off with your holy dose of coffee, <laughs> per se. Um, this is Psalm 119.64. The earth is filled with your love, Lord. Teach me your decrees. Oh, man. Um, following the Lord's laws. Um when I used to think um, about uh, the Lord's yoke a long time ago, you know, you, no one really wants to come to Christ um, these days because they think that these laws, you know, are going to restrict them from who they are. God made you. He knows who you are. He's going to make the best you. You know what I mean? Like you're living a, a, a you that is probably only 30% you, and you don't even know how to use your strength. You don't even know how to use um, the valuable nuggets that God has in you. That's all he wants to do. He wants to make you the best you and the purpose that you have in your life. He wants to instill that in you and train you using those decrees in order to get you where you need to go. Hallelujah. Um, but let's, uh, finish the, uh, the, the surrounding verses. Remember it's very important, um, versus just reading one verse, even though that was a good one, I could have just left it at that. But it's really important to understand the, the surrounding verses so that way you can get the context of what the writer was trying to say. So uh, this is a very, very long psalm. I mean, it has uh, numerous parts in it um, through Psalm 19, but I'm just going to read 57 through 64. This this portion um, is, is meant to stay the same with the, with the same narrative. So let, let's go here. Psalm 119, 57 through 64. <clears throat> here we go you are my portion lord i have promised to obey your words i have sought your face with all my heart be gracious to me according to your promise i have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes i will hasten and not delay to obey your commands though the wicked bind me with ropes i will not forget your law hallelujah at midnight i rise to give you thanks for your righteous laws I am a friend to all who fear you, to all who follow your precepts. The earth is filled with your love. Lord, teach me your decrees. Amen. There is a beauty about having the God of the entire uh, universe, the one that created all things, time, everything in it, that wants to give you his righteous, holy, 
commands and decrees. He cares about you that much. He can just leave you out there. You can be just like some little spider, um, you know, walking up a tree. But he even dictates what they do. He dictates what the birds do. They sing to him every single morning. How much more for him to actually give you things to please him and to show you how to live a great life? Uh, how valuable is that? Very hard to understand it until you actually start living in it. And once you live in it and see that God not only gives you these decrees, um, it, it, it's like a guide for, for walking your life, um, you find how valuable you become to others around you, um, to a purpose in your life, to just a really, really awesome, joyful life. Um, thank the Lord for it. So um, research his decrees. Listen for them. It's not about the just Ten Commandments. God gives you decrees daily. If you just listen to them, stay in prayer. Listen to the steps that he's trying to give you in your life and take them. Do not be afraid. The Lord is with you wherever you go. Okay, people, have a good, uh, what is it, Wednesday? Yes, have a good Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow morning. Remember, like what I said, uh, watch uh, for the Lord's hand coming. Um, make sure that you stock up on food. Keep stocking, stocking, stocking right now as you can. And uh, prepare for his coming, because he's coming soon. God bless you and yours, people. Have a good one.